In this video, I'll show you how to take down the Mad Clown Puppet boss, who can be found in Chapter 6 on Rosa Elizabeth Street. And thankfully, considering how tough this guy is, he is optional. You don't actually have to take this one down. Now, if you are a completionist and you want to do every boss in the game, fair play to you. An easy way of starting the fight would be to simply run past everyone with the flamethrowers, run past the guys that are throwing the thermite at you, and then run past the boss as there's a stargazer just behind the stairs where he sends that ball rolling down the hill for you. Now, if you rest at the stargazer, even if you just activate it and then either clear off or use your little watch thing to get back to your most recent stargazer, you will then reset the biome, allowing you to just go down the stairs and then engage the mad clown that way. So as you can see here, I've just activated the stargazer. I'm just going to lead him down through the stairs and then I'm going to run back up the other side, reactivate the stargazer, resetting the biome. That then takes most of the threat out of the fight as you won't have already wasted a few pulse cells in getting through the flaming guys at the bottom of the hill. Now, there is no way of getting around it, really. This guy is incredibly tough. The Mad Clown Puppet should really be dealt with much later on in the game. However, considering the boss that you're going to be facing off against next, it is a fair stepping point to make sure that you're tough enough to deal with the story boss that you're going to be coming up against. Now, the Mad Clown Puppet will attack you with a heavy amount of combos. He will spin around. Basically, every single attack that he does is designed to get through your block, get through your guard, and then basically haymaker you straight back to the Stargazer. He'll do a move where he puts one of his arms down on the floor and then belly butts you. He'll also do this attack here, which can be very nasty. If you get caught with that, the punch will basically bounce off your face and he'll then follow up with another combo. Now, I do strongly recommend, even if you are running the most defensive build in the game, to not tank the hits. Try and dodge out of the way get behind him especially if you dodge around to the right of him you're then going to be able to punish him from behind whilst he recovers although he can spin around very quickly as well so just be aware of his arms if they go out to the side then you're more than likely going to get a quick punch to the face now use the space that you've got as well if you lure him back up the stairs you're going to have a much more open area to deal with him in rather than the kind of corridor as if you do go further down the hill where you've already come through, you can get a few flamethrowers coming up behind you. If you get that overheat status, as well as this guy punching you, it's pretty much straight back to the Stargazer. But then it's just a case of using your Fable Arch, using up your charged attacks, trying to build up to a Fatal, where you can deal a heavy amount of damage, rinse and repeat until you manage to bring him down. Throwables work very well if you've got any shot put, or maybe some Thermite, or any throwing cells. Anything at all that can deal increased damage from this guy whilst you stay away from his fists will drastically improve your chances of coming out with a win. Now, reward-wise for taking down the Mad Clown Puppet, you're going to get one piece of quartz and 7,424 ergo. You're also safe in the knowledge that you haven't got to fight him again until your next playthrough. So let's look at how to take down the Mad Clown Puppet boss in Lies of P. If you're a fan of these quick, straight-to-the-point guides, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.